Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris Cullen here, masteryourmoneynow.com.au, helping you take control of your finances from the comfort of your very own home. And in this week's White Ball Wednesday, I wanna give a very quick uh, age pension 101 lesson because there's some bit of misconception of what what impacts your age pension entitlements when you do get to that uh, time that you need to retire, to, to retirement, what sort of things that we should be uh, considering. And ultimately there's three things that Centrelink look at to determine what uh, sort of entitlements that you're going to receive. So first one is they're gonna look at whether you own your own home or not, okay? So because if you own your own home, or you rent, you, there's actually two different thresholds under the asset test that you can potentially use. Um, when you own your own home, that doesn't count uh, under the Centrelink assets test, which is something that we look at down here. So if you own your own home, the threshold under the assets test is quite less than if you don't own your own home. If you're renting, the threshold is a lot higher. So there's some strategy things that you could potentially look at to increase your entitlements, but that's one thing to consider is whether you're a homeowner or you rent. The second one is, are you a single person or are you part of a couple? Now, uh, if you are a single person, you get a higher rate than if you are part of a couple. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. It's obviously pretty uh, black and white if you're married or in a long-term relationship, but even little things like, for example, if you're living with a friend or something like that, it potentially reduce costs. I have seen it uh, in some circumstances where Centrelink would actually classify you as a couple in that instance. So that's just something to keep in mind of if you uh, are living with friends or someone you don't get classify as a couple, Centrelink might view it differently, okay? So that's the second thing that they look at. Then the third thing that they look at is your income or assets. So when it comes to Centrelink, they assess you on two different areas. Firstly, they look at your income. They look at what you're earning, what you're receiving in terms of a pension from superannuation, and then they look at what's known as a deemed interest rate. That is a presumed interest rate based on what you have in your bank account, what you have in shares, uh, in any sort of financial assets, there's a presumed interest rate known as the Demin rate that gets added to the income test. Then they also look at the asset test. What sort of assets that you own? So it's, which simply is pretty much everything except your family home, as it's mentioned before. So it would be contents, cars, what's in your super, um, bank accounts, the jewelry, the art collection, whatever that might be, whatever assets that you legally own are in your name, they will classify that under the asset test. And then they'll uh, look at those two tests. So let's say for example, you're fully retired, you're not earning your income, so under the income test, you're entitled to a full age pension based on those uh, two things, your homeowner status and your single couple status. You've got a full age pension. But under the asset test, you know, you've got maybe a lot of jewelry or art or something like that, expensive cars, whatever it might be, you're actually only entitled to half an age pension. So they'll look at, so under the income test, you get a full age pension, but under the asset test, you get a half age pension. They'll look at both of those tests and then ask the question, which one gives you the least amount of money? Unfortunately, yes, they don't go in your, what's worst best for you. They go on based on what's worst for you. So under that scenario, you'll be based on under the asset test, which means you'll get a half age pension. Okay, so now there is some strategies that we can do to review your uh, Centrelink entitlements, especially if you are asset tested, but even if you're income tested as well, there are ways that you can legally, ethically restructure your finances in order to increase your age pension entitlements. If that's something that you wanna discuss, what I want you to do is go to masteryourmoneynow.com.au forward slash get started, and we book in your free 30 minute consultation, and we can have a chat about your situation and potentially look at ways that we can can uh, increase your age pension entitlements. This is Chris Carlin from masteryourmoneynow.com.au and I'm looking forward to seeing you at next week's Whiteboard Wednesday.